Here we have the client's static postural uh, assessments. From the front and the rear view, all the lines are very straight and in line with what they should be. But when we look at this lateral view, um, we notice that the client has an anterior t uh, hip tilt. And um, it's signified by that slanting line right across the center of the body moving down towards in front of the client. We then analyzed the client's overhead squat movement where we had a movement test where the client kept their arms straight overhead and dropped down into a squat. As you can see here from the center picture and the lateral view, there was a significant lower back arch signifying that there might be tight hip flexors. Here are the videos for that overhead squat. Here we start to notice that very significant lower back arch. Here we analyzed the range of motion of the client's uh, hip joint. Uh, we used a hip flexion range of motion test. Um, as you can see here, the stationary arm was starting in line with the femur and then would stationary uh, stay there. The movement arm would actually move with the femur and the axis would be located right on that hip joint. Here are the videos of that range of motion test. The client would start with their leg uh, completely lying down as that stationary arm would stay and the movement arm would follow that leg until we get um, a degree measurement. And then the client would slowly move back through that motion. Normal range of motion for hip flexion is about 120 degrees. So anything less than this can be considered a weak or possibly um, underactive. Here we are performing a manual muscle test on the client where we test a specific muscle um, strength by uh, resisting their force. This one we're texting the gluteus maximus and rating it on a scale of 1 to 3, 1 being the lowest, 3 being the highest. The other manual muscle test was performed on the medial hamstring as I resisted the uh, motion of knee flexion. Check. She was a bad, bad, In order to inhibit the overactive muscles that were the hip flexors, we asked the client to SMR or um, roll out essentially the muscles uh, that were overactive. Here we have the client um, taking about 10 seconds to find um, any knot, any uh, tight location in the hip flexor, and then spending 30 seconds to a minute digging um, or really loosening up that section. Uh, this would be our hip flexor or our rectus femoris. We also had the client uh, SMR, um, the TFL, in a very similar manner, um, just rolling out more um, down the side of the leg. After inhibition was uh, lengthening in the corrective exercise continuum, so we had the client uh, stretch out their hip flexors. Here we have them doing um, a cobra stretch, which allows them to um, stretch out those hip flexors. You want to hold the stretch for about 15 to 30 seconds, do one to two sets.
Next we have a more um, active stretch, uh, which will be our lunge with our active T-twist pose. This again will stretch out our hip flexors, but is a little bit more dynamic in nature and requires the uh, client or athlete to have pretty good um, functional movement patterns prior. Step three of the exercise continuum um, required that we strengthen. So here we are strengthening the gluteus maximus with some simple um, glute bridges. Form about eight to ten of these in about two sets. Hold on top for two seconds. Then we did a bridge to leg curl to strengthen those hamstrings and the gluteus maximus. This can be performed with an office chair, obviously, here, or an exercise ball at a gym. The goal is um, to bridge up off the ground and then bring those feet uh, towards the gluteus maximus and then extend back out slowly. This will strengthen all of those muscles. The last step in the continuum required us to integrate all of the uh, muscles motion together. Here we have them doing a um, ball on the back squat with an overhead press. This can be with dumbbells or any object you have. Um, this will allow you to roll down the wall and use all those muscles that we just strengthened and loosened up together in one fluid motion.